In the last shot, we saw that a change in magnetic field produces current. Fleming right hand rule helps find the current direction. The thumb shows motion, forefinger magnetic field and middle finger induced current. From the upper conductor, A moves downwards through the magnetic field. The lines of flux are cut at right angles. By Fleming right hand rule, the induced current flows into the screen, producing an EMF in one direction. From the lower conductor, B moves upwards through the same magnetic field. The induced current flows out of the screen, the opposite direction to A, producing opposite EMF. When a conductor A moves downwards and B moves upwards, both cut the magnetic field in opposite direction. By Fleming right hand rule, induced current in A and B are in opposite directions. When these two conductors join, they form a complete rectangular loop. The basic model of single loop generator at right angles produce the great rate of change of flux. As side A moves downwards and B moves upwards, each side cuts the magnetic field lines. At this position, the rate of change of flux is maximum. So, induced EMF is also maximum. By applying Fleming right hand rule, with the field from north to south and motion downwards on the A, the, in the induced current flows from A to B through the loop. This represents the pulse to half cycle. When the coil becomes parallel to the field, it cuts no magnetic lines. Induced EMF becomes zero. As the loop continues its rotation, B moves downwards and A moves upwards. By Fleming right hand rule, the induced current now flows in the opposite direction from B to A. So the EMF is maximum but opposite in polarity. Then A to half cycle. In one full rotation of coil, current changes direction twice, forming one complete sine wave, the alternating current. In the next shot, we will see how this alternating current and direct current are collected in a single loop generator.